Let's go ahead. Uh, speaking of the draft here on our lads football network and talk about their top three draft needs. As far as uh, your predictions go, let's start with the Titans uh, draft need. Number three, number three. I, I think that would have to be wide receiver. So I know that some people within the Titans community will get, you know, give me crazy eyes when I say that. But even though the Titans have DeAndre Hopkins and even though they signed Calvin Ridley to a big deal this offseason, the reality here is DeAndre Hopkins is 32 years old. He's on the last year of his contract. Calvin Ridley is no spring chicken either. He's going to be 30 years old during the season. So you look at that and then you look at what's below those two guys. Traylon Burks has been a ghost. For most of his early career, I don't think you can factor him in into any decisions. So what the Titans still need, in my opinion, is a go-to weapon for Will Levis that he can grow with for the next five years. A young wide receiver that's not in his 30s, um, that can develop with Will Levis, that can be a game changer. I don't think that's Traylon Burks. I don't think that's Kyle Phillips either. I think the Titans truly do need another young wide receiver added to this mix, especially going to Brian Callahan as the new head coach. His primary set on offense is going to be three wide receivers. So they need another game-changing wide receiver. So I think that is their third biggest need. Draft need number two. Number two has to be edge rusher, in my opinion. Uh, I am just my football philosophy as 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 a man is you win up front in the pass rush. If it's, you know, DBs or pass rush, I know you need both, but pass rush to me will always be king. And the Titans have Arden Key and Harold Landry. Landry came back from an ACL tear, and he looked really good after the bye week last week. So I'm really happy with Landry on one side. But the reality is Arden Key is a $7 million a year player. He is not a starting quality edge. And the Titans coaching staff has called him a rotational pass rusher. And that's what he is. Arden Key was a bust early in his career, but he got things back on track when he got put in a third pass rusher role in San Francisco and in Jacksonville. The Titans need to get him back in that third edge rusher role where he can be an energy booster off the sidelines, add on third downs, rush inside, outside. So I think adding an edge rusher who can play on early downs is critical for the Titans in this draft. Now, Tyler... We go to Tennessee Titans, draft need number one. Is this obvious or, I mean, is this uh, also another surprise? Well, I think anybody who pulls up the depth charts on our labs, the best depth charts in the business, no doubt about it. My number one resource when I'm looking at teams, because I do cover the NFL as a whole for Locked On on the Locked On NFL podcast as well. So trying to stay in touch with all of the teams, the Titans have the worst offensive tackle situation in the entire NFL. Go depth chart for depth chart and just look at what's there. They have zero starting offensive tackles on the roster right now. Right tackle and left tackle are both huge holes. And when you look at the Titans' offensive tackle situation for the last two to three years, it has been the worst in the NFL, and they didn't do anything to address it so far. So not only do the Titans need to take an offensive tackle early in this draft, I think they need to take two offensive tackles early in this draft, pair them with uh, Bill Callahan, who is one of the best offensive line coaches in NFL history and and give your quarterback a chance. Everything this year is about seeing if you have something in Will Levis or not. And you're not going to be able to do that unless you have good offensive tackle play. So to me, offensive tackle far and away, the number one need for the Titans. 